All right. Good evening. This is Luke Thomas, home of the Earthquake Forecast Center. It is 9.28 in the evening on Wednesday, August 18th, 2021. And we had some quakes as forecasted down near the Salton Sea. Let's look at that first of all. All right. There's another one there. All right. We go down here to the Salton Sea. And let's look at the forecast uh, here in El Centro. If you listen to the video from yesterday, we had a forecast for a, uh, a 5.3 is likely near Los Angeles in the Salton Sea area on August 18th, around 4 p.m. We had a uh, 2.8, 2.7, 2.5, 4.0 right there next to the Salton Sea and a 3.8, 2.5 and a 2.7. This uh, 4.0 earthquake hit an hour and 15 minutes, one hour and 15 minutes before 4 p.m. So right about 2.45. And then the second one, the 3.8 hit at uh, about an hour and 10 minutes before 4 p.m. at 2.50 p.m. So about an hour and uh, 10 minutes before our forecasted arrival time of the earthquake at about 4 p.m. So uh, not too bad, about an hour and 10 minutes, an hour and 15 minutes off, we got a 4.0 to 3.8, exactly where we expected it, near the Salton Sea uh, near Los Angeles. So the magnitude, we're still working on the magnitude and uh, we're still calibrating that and we'll get closer and closer to the, on that in the future. However, the risk is not over. You can see this still up to about 84, 85, well, no, about 88% tonight around midnight. So that 5.3 that we expected at 4 p.m. when we got the 4.0, 3.8 could still hit around midnight. So the risk is not over yet. And then the risk falls off uh, after at about nine, nine o'clock in the morning, the risk begins to fall off. But up until nine o'clock in the morning, this peak here around midnight could produce that 5.3 earthquake we were waiting for in the Salton Sea. We did get the 4.0 and 3.8 as expected about an hour and 10 minutes before our 4 p.m. So now let's go to uh, this 6.9 earthquake hit northeast of Australia near Vanuatu, very close to uh, Port Vila. And uh, so uh, let's look at the uh, forecast now for uh, the rest of the world. And we'll get back to that later there. All right, Anchorage, Alaska. All right, back, this is interesting too, back on uh, August 14th, we forecasted a uh, about a 6.5 earthquake to hit Near Anchorage at four o'clock in the morning, we expected it to hit at four o'clock in the morning. It hit exactly at four o'clock in the morning on, on August 14th, but it hit southeast or southwest of uh, Anchorage. It was a 6.9, not a 6.5, but a 6.9, exactly at four o'clock in the morning as we had forecasted uh, on August 14th. So things are working out real well uh, according to our forecast. Here's the uh, forecast for the coming few days. 3.5 is possible on August 21st. 5.1 is possible on August 23rd. And we'll get more information as that gets closer. All right, Bakersfield. This quake is uh, 5.3 is still possible around midnight tonight. We've got a 4.0 on that peak here at 4 p.m. 5.7, a uh, more significant earthquake is likely uh, near Koalinga to uh, San Francisco on this spike in risk on the morning of the 21st. And that you can see here, the risk is the highest from San Francisco Bay down to Koalinga. So in this area here, we could get a 5.7 earthquake on the morning of the 21st. And the risk spi spikes at around 2.30 in the morning on August 21st. So the risk is also very high near Bakersfield at that same time on the morning of August 21st. Koalinga, very high risk on the morning of the 21st at around 2.30 in the morning on August 21st. A 5.7 is possible from Koalinga to San Francisco area. El Centro, we got that 4.0. 
about an hour before our spike in risk at 4 p.m. Still a very high risk uh, tonight at around midnight. And that 5.3 is still possible. And then this spike in risk here comes at around 2.30 in the morning on August 21st, when we're expecting a 5.7 near Coalinga, San Francisco area. All right, Eureka, California. We have this uh, spike in risk on, uh, on the 18th and also the morning of the 19th in Eureka, and then a spike in risk on the 21st. Hawaii, the risk is uh, high on the 18th. What did happen over there today in Hawaii? Let's check real quick. Wow, I didn't even notice that, I didn't even check. We had a 4.1 earthquake and we were expecting a 4.0 earthquake on August 18th. And there was a 4.0, 4.1 earthquake on August 18th, as we expected August 18th, 4.0, we got a uh, 4.1 earthquake in Hawaii. So that worked out well with that uh, spike in risk. And let's go to Los Angeles. Again, uh, still, uh, we got that quake at uh, 4 p.m. this afternoon, right around 4 p.m. Still possible, 5.3 is still possible tonight, uh, especially around midnight. And you can see that on the El Centro forecast here. So still, the risk is still pretty high tonight until about eight or nine in the morning. So still be on alert in the Los Angeles to Salton Sea area. 5.7 is possible in the San Francisco to Coalinga area again on this spike and risk here. And when you see the spike and risk also on the Los Angeles forecast, of course, it is on the uh, Coalinga and San Francisco Bay as well. But when you see that down in uh, Los Angeles as well, I mean, you still have an elevated risk level for maybe even a 3.5, 4.0. The highest risk still being up near San Francisco to Coalinga. All right, Reno, Nevada. Uh, extremely high risk on late on the 21st, the 22nd, where a 5.5 is possible in the Reno area. Reno, Nevada on the late on the 21st and the 22nd. We'll see what that brings. Ridgecrest, 5.7 again is possible. San Francisco to Coalinga on, on the morning of the 21st, around 2.30 in the morning. And not sure exactly what's happening here, but it looks like uh, quite a lot of high risk um, on the 21st into the 22nd in Ridgecrest. We'll have more information on that tomorrow. Salt Lake City, a significant 5.2 is possible in the morning of the 22nd of August. And in San Diego, we had that spike in risk here at uh, 4 p.m. on August 18th, which produced a 4.0 and a 3.8 and a bunch of other quakes. This is that spike in risk coming up at 2.30 in the morning in, in San Francisco, Coalinga area. Santa Maria, California, northwest of Los Angeles. We have this spike in risk on the 21st in the morning and um, very high risk in Santa Maria, but the highest risk again is in Coalinga to San Francisco. San Fran, uh, Seattle, uh, Washington. We have a peak here of about uh, 70 to 80% risk on the 21st. And Athens, Greece, 5.5 is still possible early in the morning on the 19th as this risk uh, is, is peaking here. And then a small risk on the 23rd. And in the Caribbean, we had a peak here on the 18th in Puerto Rico. And I believe we also had a, another, um, let's see here, 4.9 4 earthquake hit during this peak here on the 18th in uh, Port-au-Prince. So I think this actually the data coming from Puerto Rico has a very good uh, data stream there. I think we'll stick with that. You can see this is the morning of the 14th when the Haiti earthquake hit uh, 
And this is uh, on the 18th when that uh, recent 4.9 just hit. West of Port-au-Prince today. <clears throat> All right, let's look at the, uh, let's see, uh, Santiago, Chile. We had a spike in risk uh, today on the 18th. And let's see what happened down there today. Doesn't show anything significant in uh, Santiago, Chile. Risk up in uh, northern Chile. I mean, some quakes, small quakes up that way. All right. Let's look at the uh, Costa Rica, Croatia. Croatia. Uh, we had a 4.6 on this spike in risk there in the morning of the 17th. And it's been quiet around there today. Another spike in risk on the 20th coming up. <clears throat> All right, Croatia, Cyprus, Ecuador, El Salvador, Guatemala, and Indonesia. And eventually we'll be doing all those forecasts there on the front page of quickprediction.com. All right, on the 19th, coming up in the morning, 5.0 is possible in the morning of the 19th and also on the 21st. Not very, these peaks are not very strong, but something still could happen in uh, the Indonesia, Jakarta area. Okay, and then uh, Lima, Peru. Strong risk right about now, between now and uh, actually early in the morning on the 19th. Let's see what's going on over there right now. Some quakes southeast of Lima, Peru. And by the way, we just got a um, another significant quake down here near, uh, down near the Salton Sea. And this just hit a few minutes ago. It hit um, about 10 minutes ago, a 3.3. Continuing, remember we said the risk continues in that area, 4.0, 3.8, now this 3.3. And remember the risk is still very high tonight and that 5.3 is still possible all the way till tomorrow morning when this uh, begins to uh, get a less risk in the morning. But tonight this 5.3 is still possible near the Salton Sea. We just got another uh, significant quake, 3.3 down near the Salton Sea. So stay on alert down uh, in Salton Sea to Los Angeles area tonight. We still have a very high risk here and that 5.3 still might uh, hit uh, tonight at around midnight. All right, and then in uh, Taiwan, <clears throat> 5.2 is possible late on the 19th into the 20th. And uh, let's go to Japan's forecast. And a 4.8 is possible on the 20th, August 20th. Uh, 4.8 is possible in and around the Tokyo to Sendai. It's a very high risk in Sendai as well on the uh, 20th. One more time, let's look at the uh, El Centro forecast here. Salt and Sea, uh, right at this spike in risk, uh, which was uh, 4 p.m., we said we'd get that 5.3. However, we didn't get a 5.3, we got a 4.0, 2.8, 2.7, 2.5, 4.0, 3.8, and just now a 3.3, but right at that peak, we got a 4.0 and 3.8, exactly as forecasted, but uh, we were expecting a 5.3, but we got a 4.0 and, and uh, 3.8. But this spike in risk coming up around midnight could still produce and release that energy for the 5.3. So still stay on alert in Southern California. We've had a swarm of quakes down there. Actually, we're getting, uh, we're getting some more right now down in that area. Let's take a look. And here's the Salton Sea just north of there. And uh, we've had uh, around 27 earthquakes in that area. So quite a, a nice little swarm there uh, near the Salton Sea. So again, stay on alert down in Southern California. That 5.3 is still possible, even though we got the 4.0 and 3.8 at the designated time at 4 p.m. 
uh, this afternoon. All right, thanks again for your support here at QuakePrediction.com, Earthquake Forecast Center. We will talk to you again tomorrow. Uh, if you live in San Francisco and Coalinga, be prepared for a strong earthquake in the morning of the 21st of August, uh, when a 5.7 is possible from San Francisco Bay down to Coalinga. And again, down in Los Angeles, Salt and Sea area, that 5.3 is still possible uh, yet tonight, even though we got the 4.0, 3.8, and 3.3. All right, we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Thanks so much, and thanks for your support.